How are we going everybody? Now I've been getting a lot of emails lately asking me further details and information on black grit. What is it? How do we use it? I know there's some very basic instructions on the back of these containers. Now we've got the one and a half kilo here, the four kilo. It also comes in a refill uh, paper bag, one kilo, um, and also an 18 kilo drum. So they're the sizes currently available. You can get it in a thousand kilos if you like as well, a big bulker bag, but that is going to be done by email. We can discuss transport. But back to the topic on what it is. Well, it's a, it's a soil amendment fertilizer. So it has two parts to it. One part is the amending of soil. What does that mean? Well, if you've got acidic soil and predominantly acidic soil comes in the form of clay and sometimes sandy loam, and it depends on what you're adding into your soil. Most times, um, and I dare say many of us in the past or even still, have been practicing using synthetic fertilizers. Now what I mean by that is you know man-made or human-made fertilizers that are brought together through firing, cooling, um, compression. Um, these are elements that have been brought so that they dissolve, um, well brought together so they dissolve when you put them into the garden, however fast or slow. Not an organic base, meaning they, they can't be broken down by microbes in their solid state or even their liquid form. They may be absorbed over time when they start to break down to a molecular level. Um, but I know that there's more damage done and from experience and seeing and traveling um, and some of the research that I've had from experts alike and agronomists, uh, the synthetic fertilizer overexposed in your garden can long-term cause more harm than good. Short-term fix. So what does that mean to your soil? It means that your soil becomes inert, it becomes self-reliant um, continuously with artificial fertilizing. It means that the microbe bio in your soil in the earth is destroyed. So you need to constantly fertilize it synthetically if you want to keep going down that path. Or, and it means that your soil has become so acidic um, and so polluted with um, nitrogen, which is mainly the one that does the biggest damage. And that's the excessive use of those fertilizers <clears throat> and I'm not being specific to any type, but it's just general fertilizers in, on the synthetic level. But it can happen, and I don't say this lightly, it can happen with uh, organic fertilizing, such as manures, uh, compost, that haven't broken down in green waste. It's quite acidic. And this is the stuff here that's going to fix that for you. So when you've got too much acid in your soil and your plants are unable to take up all the other nutrients that would otherwise be available if they weren't, if the soil wasn't so acidic, the black grit will help reduce that acidity. It's not just something that works like garden lime, far from it. It is a calcium magnesium silicate phosphate base. Now phosphate in a synthetic form is, can be very harmful to your soil. In a natural form like this, this is non-soluble mind you, you can add a bucket of water or sit it in a bucket of water and it will remain in its same original state as you have it when it's in the dry form. It only works when you add it to soil that's excessively high um, in acid or in low in the pH. I was going to say high in the pH but it's actually low in the pH. So you put that into the soil, it builds the calcium which is the secret to a healthy garden. You really need the calcium. It's so much overlooked. We forget about it. We think about nitrogen, phosphate, and potash. That's all we think about when we put in fertilizers, NPK. Um, that's okay, but we, we've got magnesium, we've got silicate, we've got boron, we've got zinc, we've got calcium. And when I stay, talk about calcium, calcium rectifies the blossom end rot, the burning of plants or the, the tip burning. It, it, it actually brings the soil together to, so they, the, the, the plants can absorb the other nutrients that come out of the soil, which are normally locked up. So when you add this into the soil, it builds up the phosphates naturally. It gives the plant the calcium, which makes the fruit juicier, larger, tastier, makes the flowers bigger, more colorful, more fragrant. It helps develop bigger root systems with the phosphate and the calcium combined. So that's what it does. It fixes it. Now, if you've got alkaline, high alkaline soil, it won't work as efficiently in those types of soils because they aren't very acidic. So you have got those macro and micronutrients 
available. You can still add it in for the calcium intake, but it ain't gonna make a huge difference as it will when you've got acidic based soils or soils that are boggy clay or over fertilized. So yes, you can apply it in every sort of circumstance. Now, how do you apply it? For new garden beds, folks, it's about two tablespoons per square meter or a good handful like this. See that there? Sprinkle it over the top and dig it in. For seedlings, two tablespoons as well for one square metre, folks, and sprinkle it over the top and give it a good watering in. For pot plants, it's a quarter to up to one tablespoon, which is about half a handful maximum around each plant. So the bigger the pot, the more you place in there. Or if you're my mother, you put two handfuls in there. And with natives, yes, you can apply it at half strength, and that is quite safe for them. Even though this has got phosphate in it, black grit that is, it is a natural forming phosphate, so it won't cause any damage to your plants. So apply it at half strength, give it a good soaking in, and watch the benefits come through with a big, strong, healthy growth. Now, I've done trials on my property, on all my natives. They're all living beautifully. I've actually put shovels worth on larger trees where at the end of the day I was taking a risk to see if it cooked the tree or not but it hasn't the tree is actually thriving the colors are more vibrant than ever so it does work in many aspects on many different types of gardens succulents including and cacti as well for trees folks it's about four tablespoons per square meter so if I do a square meter that'll be about two handfuls or if I'm going to go larger in this case which is what I'm going to do I'm going to end up putting four handfuls Plus, folks, because we've got these little plants under here, they're going to take up some of the wonderful nutrients that black root's going to help unlock in the soil. So if you've over-fertilised your garden, don't worry, folks. If you've over-fertilised with black root, rest assured you're not going to do any damage. It's just going to sit there and wait in the soil for you to fertilise it the next time you go around in the garden. And I always suggest that whenever you fertilise your garden, always put some black grit in there as a shield of armour, as a protection, as an amendment so it can get the calcium, that's your plants that is, and the microbes get the calcium they need to be able to feed your plants and grow big, strong and healthy. Now if your soil is slightly alkaline or neutral, it's not going to be as effective because your soil should have already an active microbial uh, life in the soil. The bacteria that's in the soil should be already alive. When it's too acidic, all that gets locked away. Your plants get locked away from uh, having access to all those uh, nutrients that they need to be able to grow strong so the black grit is where it works so a soil amendment fertilizer it's available on our website uh, we're running some major major specials on the four kilos and one and a half kilos check it all out vasilisgarden.com so if you've got any problems with your garden you're not sure what you're doing send me an email and for everybody else who's waiting for a response I'm getting around to them folks there's plenty out there but there's only one Vasily check it all out vasilisgarden.com from me Vasily Maresi it is hot. I think spring sprung, folks. Got the cap on. Try and keep the hot sun off my face. It's not working.